Hello, boys and girls. I know our reading lesson today, um, we didn't have as much time as I'd hoped to get through some of this. So in case you'd missed writing down some of the work we did together, I wanted to make a quick video to help you out. So I'm gonna go through these pages pretty quickly, but remember, since this is YouTube and YouTube is amazing, you can just press pause whenever you need to write something down, okay? So this first page goes through our lesson for lesson eight, determining the central message. We talked about our learning target and how we're gonna use key details to help us understand the events in a story and how these events and the characters help us determine a central message or a lesson that the author is trying to teach us. So we looked at this comic on the first page where the first picture the mom is helping the boy ride his bike. He says, don't let go of me. And then in the second picture, after a little bit, she lets go a little bit, but she's still really close by. By the last picture, he says, I can do it. And he's so proud of himself and she's just waving from way back there because he realizes he can do this on his own. He can do hard things with practice and with help. So on page two of your Seesaw assignment, these are the three key details. And we got them from those three pictures. The first key details, the mom is helping the boy ride his bike. We got that from the first picture. The second key detail is when the mom lets go of the bike. And we got that from the second picture. The last picture shows that the boy is riding the bike on his own. And all three of these events lead us to the central message. What's the author trying to teach us? She's trying to teach us that with practice and with help, you can learn to do hard things. So yes, the boy learns how to ride a bike, but riding a bike is not the central message. The central message is something that the author is teaching us that I can apply to my life. So it's not that a boy learned how to ride a bike, it's that he practiced and he got help and he could learn to do something really hard. And we can all do that. We can all learn how to do hard things with practice and with help. On the third page, we read the story about the girl and the apples and we highlighted some of the events that are important to the story. So I'm going to read through the story really quickly with you because we've already read this a couple of times together on Zoom. And then I'm going to bring us to um, the chart that talks about the key details and the central messages of this story. It says, one fall afternoon, a girl went to a farm to pick apples. She was in a hurry. So she picked carelessly, both ripe apples and unripe ones. When she finished, her wagon was filled with a small mountain of apples. The girl asked the farmer, quick, Tell me how long do you think it will take me to get back home? The farmer thought carefully, and then he said, be patient. If you go slowly, you will be back soon. But if you go fast, you will not get back until nighttime. It is your choice. The girl thought, how can that be? How can it take so long if I go fast? The girl wanted to get back home as soon as possible, so she rushed her horse and wagon onto the road. She made her horse walk very fast. And suddenly, bump, off fell some apples. Every time she hit a bump, more apples fell off of her wagon. And then she had to stop and put them back on the wagon. Because of all of the delays, it was nighttime before she got home. So on the second page, it asks us about the key details from the girl's point of view and the key details of the farmer. The girl is rushing to get home quickly. She doesn't get home until late because of the delays. These are the important parts of the story with the girl. She's rushing, she wants to get home fast. And because she rushes, she has a lot of delays. These apples keep falling. And so because of that, she doesn't get home until late. The farmer tells her to go slowly and she will get home soon. That's for the farmer's key detail that he tells her, he gives her advice and says, slow down, be patient, and you will get home much sooner. So the central message of the story is that it's best to go slowly and to be careful instead of rushing and making mistakes. Because every time she rushed and made a mistake of apples falling off of her wagon, 
She had to stop and fix that mistake and then keep going. And that's something we can apply to our own lives. I bet you've all heard your teachers tell you, slow down your work. Don't make silly mistakes. Otherwise, you're just going to have to go back and fix them, right? This is a lesson we can apply to our own lives also. Even if we're not picking apples and bringing our horse down a road, we can still think about going slowly and carefully instead of rushing and making mistakes. So if you need to write this down, go ahead and pause the video and make sure that you have this written down on a paper or typed into your Seesaw assignment. The last page is this question for a short response. The question asks, what is another lesson the girl might learn from what happened? Our hint is what happened, or I'm sorry, what might the girl think about the farmer's advice by the end of the story? So in the beginning, she's like, this guy is crazy. How can I get home fast if I go slow? But he ended up being right. She rushed and he was right. She didn't get home until nighttime. So the lesson that she could learn and that we could also learn would be to take the advice of others. The story tells us if the girl had listened to the farmer, she would have been home much sooner. So again, if you need to write down anything from the chart that we did together or a short response, make sure you pause the video and get this written down on your Seesaw assignment or on a piece of paper to type on your assignment later. Thank you guys for watching and for working so hard on this assignment. I will see you next time.